Hello, this is Sai Swarup. Today I am going to talk about Gibbs Duhem equation and its physical importance. Without a further ado, let's start. First of all, I would like to talk about the use of this equation. The equation explains how partial molar properties of a substance change with the composition at constant temperature and pressure. The Gibbs Duhem equation essentially explains the change in chemical potential with respect to the change in mole fraction of any component that is present in that substance. Next, what is chemical potential? In an intuitive approach, we can say chemical potential is the total energy of a substance uh, per the total number of moles that is uh, kilojoule per kilo mole next let's going to the uh, derivative part we all know that total chemical potential of a substance is equal to the sum of chemical potentials of its components that's why mu t that is total chemical potential is equal to n i that is uh, moles number of moles of that component present in the substance multiplied by the chemical potential of the um, th of that component that is present. Uh, if we account for a small change in total chemical potential in a mathematical way we can write it as the derivative that is d mu t that is equal to sigma n i d mu i plus sigma mu i d n i. Since chemical potential of the pure components is constant, therefore d mu i bar is equal to zero. Dividing through uh, by the total number of moles present in the uh, mixture, we get n i by to n n t, n t is total number of moles will give you mole fraction that is xi of that component present in the solution. Therefore, the equation becomes sigma xi d mu i equal to 0. Now, let us take a binary solution. That means there are only two components that make up the solution. And the mole fractions of the components are respectively are x1 and x2 respectively. Since x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 because mole fraction the sum of all mole fractions in a solution should be equal to 1. If you differentiate this equation we get dx1 is equal to minus dx2. From the uh, before equation that is sigma xi d mu i equal to 0 if you take up for a binary system that means x1 d mu 1 plus x2 d mu 2 equal to 0. Since dx1 is equal to minus dx2, we can write this equation as x1. Uh, we, uh, we can write this equation as x1 d mu, I, uh, d mu 1 by dx1 equal to x2 d mu 2 by dx2. By the equation, what can we infer? By the equation, we can infer that if we, if any change in partial molar property of a component will lead to the change in the partial molar properties of all the other components present in the mixture. Thanks.